Watch out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you think? Of what? The speech? Yeah. Did you vote for him? In the primaries? Nah. I'm a little surprised the administration gave him a public... camera booth now what you need to sync the feed from the console to me so that i can see what we're getting it should be easy to hack hang on that's it now i need you to get comfortable with those camera controls we're dealing with directional mics here high end but they're integrated with the camera focus get reed and galliard in the shot and we'll get the audio miss them and we get nothing and here they come now. Lucius, I'm glad you can make it. We've got some last-minute logistic issues to discuss. We're 24 hours out and you want to talk paperclip requisitions here, now. The site's clean, and I knew you'd be here since your company did the setup on the Samson speech. One of my companies, yes. I have several. <laughs> which includes Black Arrow, which I assume is what you want to talk about. We can talk about Black Arrow shortcomings later. I want to talk about what I need to make this go off smoothly. <gasps> Do you now? I was impressed that he said that. What did you think of Samson's speech? It was a nice piece of grandstanding. He should give his writers a raise. He swears he writes all his speeches himself. I'm sure it plays well for the folks back home. I don't like the chances. You don't like Samson? I don't trust Samson. But... Which is incidental. Who should keep in mind? Mine. I thought we were both more civilized than that. This is what your people want. The people I represent want you to deal with Fisher. Stop wasting time. Stop wasting their money. If Megiddo's getting cold feet... Let, let me make this clear, Reed. Megiddo planned this operation. Megiddo paid for this operation. And Megiddo would be very upset if anyone were allowed to interfere with it. He's not going to interfere because my men will deal with him. Since Black Arrow wasn't able to. I'll worry about Black Arrow. You stick to the plan. Think that you chose this place to meet, of all places. And why would you say that? The eyes of history are upon us. Of the history books, thank you. Really? I thought you enjoyed the spotlight more than that. I'll do the song and dance when I have to, but the man on stage is the one with the least cover. And cover's important, especially at a time like this. Which would explain why you're still here. Executive oversight. <laughs> I hate leaving things to chance or third party. You're supposed to be in Paris. All hell's about to break loose. My men will be very busy. So I cannot guarantee your safety. I'm not asking you to. Are you sure? This is to protect you and the operation. Some things require a personal touch. Now, if that's everything, we're done here. I'll see you when it's over. Goodbye, Lucius. Let's go after Reed. No, the smart play is to talk to Galliard. We can find Reed later. I concur. I want to know more about Megiddo, and Lucius Galliard is the only source we have. Okay, go. I'll freeze Galliard in place. Hey! Mm -hmm. Eyes open next time, okay, pal? Look where you're going now. Galliard. Mr. Galliard, my name is Anna Grimm's daughter. I'm calling on behalf of Tom Reed at 3rd Echelon. I know who you are. 
I just finished talking with your boss. What does Reed want now? Director Reed felt that the resolution that you two came to probably wasn't satisfactory for all sides and was wondering if you'd be open to further discussion on the matter. Oh, how very thoughtful of him. The answer is still no. He'd like to know if there's anything else that could be put on the table to get you to reconsider. Ah, oh, a bribe. Mr. Galliard, I think you're misunderstanding the purpose of my call. No, I don't think I... You really shouldn't talk to Grimm like that. Guards! Where the hell are my guards? It's just you and me, Lucius. Let's talk. What's your connection with Reed? If you ask nicely, I tell you. If he's just hired help. God, you're thick. This is bigger than Reed. Bigger than Third Echelon. God. They're just convenient. So why does Reed want you out of town? Ugh. Your enhanced interrogation techniques <laughs> need work. <laughs> he wants to run the show when the EMPs are triggered. There's three of them scattered around the city. In a few hours, they go off, and he gets to play commando. There are people he wants to impress. <laughs> the EMPs. Where do I find them? Say please. I don't know. <laughs> That's part of the plan. You see? <laughs> you can't stop it, Fisher. It's too big. It's too late. And the people I work for, this is just part of what they've got going on. Megiddo, who are they? Try harder, Fisher. <laughs> Megiddo, who are they? They're the ones who run this town. In Moscow, in Beijing, in any other place that matters. <laughs> They're the ones who are going to get me out of this one piece. And once Reed is finished at the white... Ah! That's all Reed now. Damn it. Officer in trouble! Sam, what's happening? Galliard's dead. The shooter's running. We need him alive. He may be our only link between Third Echelon and Megiddo. I've got a visual. He's on the stage. No. Don't worry. I'm all right. He just ducked into the VIP tent. Hurry up, Sam. We'll lose him. I'm here, Fisher. Come on! You over there! He went over the fence. Freeze, I said freeze! Attention all units, we have an officer in trouble at the Lincoln Memorial. All units in the vicinity should be killed. Use no lethal force when dealing with the police. No killing. President's orders. This guy's a cop killer! I Sam? Lost contact with the intruder. He's waiting for I you. I need backup to sweep the area. Oh, yeah. Come on out, sir! You're under arrest! Waiting for you again, Sam. Come here, Fish. Waiting for you. I'm here, Fisher. I'm here. I'm here, Fisher. I'm here.
He jumped down. Keep going, dead ahead. The large tank in front of you ducked into it. Don't shoot! He has a gun! Run! Crew down here now. He's outside and on the move again, Sam. <laughs> Officer in trouble. I don't want to die. Stay oh, frosty, guys. He's please here somewhere. I don't want to die. Oh God, please don't kill me. I swear I'll give you anything you want. Just don't give it up. I know you're here somewhere. Show yourself. This is the police! Ah! We've got the whole monument locked down, so there's nowhere to run. Come on out! I know you're here. Come out now before someone gets hurt! Oh god. Oh, ah! oh god. Oh god, I, I don't want I don't want to die. Oh god. Please don't kill me. I don't want to die. Oh god, please don't kill me. Heads up, Sam. The police are pulling back from your location. Any idea why? I'll tap into their Como to find out. Everybody out! Now! <laughs> I'm seeing him exit the cafe. He's headed for the parkway, Sam. He's headed for that car. Put it into practice. There are multiple third echelon squads converging on your position right now. What about the cops? Third echelon called them off and killed them the shooter. The gloves are off. I need a ride out of here. The Secret Service agent who brought you in is on his way to extract you. But until he gets there, you're on your own. <laughs> Hostiles gotta be close by. Area looks not good. I'll get the guy who did. Sam, a second wave of operatives is on its way. Now 
Bro, be smart. Another batch coming at you, Sam. Can't get a fix on Fisher. Check everywhere, even the bathroom. Can't see the hostile. Locate the target and eliminate him. Disturbance detected. I'm gonna check it out. <sighs> Damn it! Fisher's trying to shake us up. Be ready. Check the cafe. I'm on the way. No sign of movement. Stay sharp. Nothing new to report. No sign of him. He's got to be here somewhere. No fish are around here. We better hurry. Time to, to go, the Sam. Back. Your ride is here. Where? On the bridge behind the cafe. Go. Watch your back. He's close. Really close. I'm not finding anything. This area is clear. Let's go. Get to the bridge now. Your ride's waiting. Still nothing here. The cafe is up. Plenty of hiding spots for a guy like this. Get to the bridge now. The ride's waiting. shows you how much Sam changed that he would even think about going after Third Echelon. He'd been a company man, loyal to the bone. But now, here he was, ready to rip the guts out of the beast. The building's weakness was in the power supply. The main feed and primary backup ran through the basement parking garage. With a little C4 in the right places, Sam could cut the power to the building long enough to slip inside Third Echelon. That was good enough for Sam. He was going in, and he wanted them to know he was coming. Sam, are you in the garage? I smell like a spare tire. It was the best way. Now I need you to use the C4 you packed to take out the building's primary and secondary transformers. Do it simultaneously when you reach the front desk, and you'll have a short window before the emergency power puts security back online. They're both on the parking level, right? Right, but in two separate rooms. And don't be seen or they're gonna seal the security doors and you're done. And don't give those surveillance cameras a show. <laughs> 